Hey, what's up, y'all? It's uh, April 5th, 2013. Actually, not April 5th, March 5th, 2013. And I just got home from my third chemo session, the beginning of my second cycle. Before that, I actually had uh, an appointment with my physician, my oncologist, and uh, we just went over how I've been feeling as far as treatment-wise, how the medicine's been, you know, making me feel, and I just let him know how I've been feeling just a little sick, you know, nothing too crazy, just a little groggy in the stomach, you know, some headaches here and there, and he pretty much just went over with me, you know, as far as what my next steps are going to be with the radi radiation process, and asking me, you know, if that's something that I want to do, and he gave me a little different, you know, options that I have, as far as, you know, I probably wouldn't have to do radiation, or, you know, I would, it's going to be mandatory that I do do it, so the first option is pretty much, we'll get these two cycles complete, after these two cycles, I'll get a PET scan, whether the PET scan comes back negative or positive will determine whether I would do radiation or not. What option he gave me was that if we do, if the results come back negative for the radiation, for the PET scan as far as a tumor, if there's no tumor there so it comes back negative, then he wants to do another cycle of chemotherapy just to make sure that, you know, everything is out of there as far as the tumor. If it comes back positive, saying that there is some of the tumor still there, then we'll take the step of doing radiation. As far as treatment-wise these days, the treatment is a little better than it was back in the days as far as radiation. Nowadays, you can do direct, you know, radiation to the tumor and not have to go through other body parts. You know, that's going to cause side effects through other body parts. And there's many reasons why I don't want to do radiation, you know, as far as I'm sure y'all have heard radiation, you know, it's has, you know, a lot of side effects and, you know, especially since my tumor's on the neck, you know, I don't want any kind of, uh, any kind of side effects to affect the area around like my mouth, you know, that's one of the side effects that it's going to cause, you know, hygiene problems as far as my mouth, you know, my thyroid, have problems with swallowing, you know, pain in the throat, you know, maybe even shoulder problems, and that's something I don't want. You know, the good thing about radiation, though, is that it'll completely get rid of the tumor. But, you know, there are always chances that later on in the, in the future, there could be a possibility of a second cancer, and I'm hoping, you know, that doesn't. But like the you know, radiologists, you know, we spoke to them a couple of weeks ago, you know, as far as the dosages that they're going to be giving me, it isn't too high. That's going to, you know, there's a big chance that these side effects will occur with the little bit of dosage that they're really giving me. It's going to help the tumor as far as killing it. And, you know, the chances are kind of low just because of dosage wise. So I have a couple important decisions you know that me and my wife have to talk about whether or not what steps we're going to take for after this chemo so there's something that we really need to think about and something i really you know need to think about just want to keep y'all updated on how i'm feeling you know obviously you lost the hair already it's still falling you know little by little but i just went go ahead and just shaved it off got back in the gym you know, I'll let y'all know that last blog that I did. But so far, everything's been well. You know, I've been blessed with some good friends, family, awesome wife and daughter for the support. And I guess till next time, you know, I'm really hungry, so I'm going to try to go get me some grub, and hopefully it doesn't come back up, but we'll see. You know, I've been pretty good with, you know, eating and stuff. Gained a couple of pounds, you know, getting back into the gym, but it's getting there. You know, I'm getting back into, you know, that rhythm I was before, so everything should be good. So, till next time, y'all take care and love y'all.